So in this tutorial, we plan to cover block and tool palettes concept. So first we will see what is tool palette. So it is the button for tool palettes. Command is tool palettes, TP is shortcut. So you, you have this tool palette. So in tool palettes, there are number of ready-made symbols are available that you can use within your drawings. For using it, you just click on the symbol, come in the drawing area and click wherever you want to place it. You can also change its dimension using these arrows. You can change the size or you can change the length as per standard or from here also you can adjust the length. If we take this hexagonal nut, then if we click here, here is the arrow so you can adjust the sizes. At the time of insertion also you can change the size by right clicking you can uh, change scale then you can also rotate it suppose i want it vertical so i will say rotate in 90 degree enter so in anti clockwise direction it will be rotated and you can place it anywhere you can again change the length and width also you can change it so or you can move it anywhere you want so these are the mechanical symbols same way you can use architectural symbols are also there you can use suppose vehicle so this is vehicle you can change the type of vehicle by clicking on this arrow sedan top or suppose truck rear or sport sports car front so in this way you can change the different the same way you can use the trees are also there so you can change the type of tree and uh, whether you want plan or elevation that can also be controlled if you want to see the elevation you can see the elevation too so in this way so there are uh, electrical symbols are also there so push button is there just insertion point put the parameters your desired parameters so it will be inserted in your drawing. So in this way you can use the tool palette for using the ready-made symbols. If you have some symbols, your specific symbols or as per your company standard, those symbols, if you want to create tool palettes for those symbols, then how to do that? So you can do that using block. So at first you have to create those symbols. Suppose I will create some dummy symbol. I have some symbol like this. Suppose this is my symbol and some lines are there and for this symbol uh, I want to store in tool palette so first I have to convert this symbol into a block using this make block button block then you have to give the number suppose it is a pit I will say pit then you have to define the base point when I will insert this symbol with respect to which point it should be inserted so I will select this point then you have to select object of which objects it is made of then say ok so this symbol is created so it has converted into a single object then to add your customized tool palette you have to right click on tool palette and select new palette give some name to your palette for its identification then save this drawing with some specific name and then drag the, select the symbol and drag it and drop it on the tool palette so it will be added into the tool palette so you can use it by clicking on it or by you can also change by right clicking you can change the scale I want double scale by right clicking you can also rotate it if required suppose I want to rotate in 45 degree so in this way you can change the rotation angle and scale same way the most used block will be your drawing sheet so we already learned how to create the drawing sheet and title format that you can insert here using insert command insert block browse browse the sheet you have created open ok click so this drawing sheet is there that we have created in the tutorial 8
so this sheet once inserted the blocks gets created automatically so you just have to save this drawing and you have to drag this and drop it here so that sheet will be inserted in your tool palette so you can easily insert that tool palette that sheet by clicking on that so in this way you can use the tool palette to create your customized tool palette so whatever objects are these are the blocks suppose if you want to break it into separate pieces then you have to use the explode command so from here you can use the explode command click on the object that you want to explode and press enter so you will have every object has been separated and it is not block now so in this way you can use the block and tool palette concept thanks for joining